Hi hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and now the music video reaction with our last video of the day with our second debut of the day, which is Lee Seraphim, who debuted on April 4th, who debuted on April 29th of 2022 with their mini album Fearless and their title track Fearless. So as you know, they are the group that debuted recently. I've been keeping track of them in the news for like the past like four months and they finally debuted. So I thought it would be perfect time to do to do them last because I was the most excited for them. So a little bit of an overview. Their name is created by, by the anagram of I'm fearless and it implies self-confidence and strong st will to move forward without being swayed by the world's gaze. And then Lee Seraphim also comes from the term less seraphim, whereas seven whereas seraphim is a six winged heavenly being, referencing the six, group six members. For me, what I knew seraphim from being was also supernatural which is when a human has, you know, babies with an angel, they become half angels. So I just assume that, that that's what their name was, that they're half angels. But that that other version is also makes sense. But the people have kind of been mixed on their name because it's just kind of a mouthful. But I'm pretty interested and happy with it because it has like three different meanings. Well, the third meaning is all me because of Supernatural. But the first two are what, what they meant it to be. So pretty interested with that. And this is, a, of course, a Source Music high label group. So Sakura is one of the ones that comes to mind. And Kim Chaewon, because whenever they first started up the group, there was, there was basically Sakura left, this, Sakura left her Japanese group to join this group. And there was stuff in the media about it forever until they finally, Hyde finally said, yeah, for sure. So, this group, of course, we have Sakura, Kim Chaeyoon, and Hu Yujin, who were contestants on Produce 48, which made IZ1. And then, of course, Sakura and Chaeyoon finished in second and tenth place on IZ1, and they were in the group. And then, Hu Yujin did not place because she left after ranking 26th. So, she did pretty good, actually. And so Protoss 48 is definitely on a group of TV show I want to react to, but I'll get to it eventually. And then, of course, Sakura was famous for ranking second and also one of my people that I liked the most in IZ1. Pretty much liked everybody in IZ1, to be honest. But yeah, Playtus in May of 25, 2020, Big Hit um, acquired Playtus Entertainment. So that's where Eugene came from. She transferred from Playtus Entertainment entertainment to source music and then Chewon left Woolum and then Sakura graduated from her Japanese group and joined Hype Labels so that's those three members and the other three were just always under source music so that one was a group that I was really excited about because Sakura and Chewon of course are in it and there's also some other people in it that I'm that I was really interested in so for example there is Kazuha who is a Japanese rapper singer and ballerina and then she's also the rapper, dancer, and vocalist. Of, and then Sakura, she's the vocalist. Kim Choyeon, who's the leader, vocalist, and dancer. And then it's kind of cool because IZ1, she's the leader in this group. We have Hoi Hujin, who was on Protoss 48. She's the vocalist and dancer. Then we have Kim Graham, who's the vocalist. And then we have Hong Hyun Che, who's the vocalist and Maknae. So pretty good overall group that I'm really excited about. They're all really beautiful, like visuals and things like that. So it's a pretty cool one to see. And there's also two Japanese members in this group with Sakura and Kazuha. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how they do. And like, I'm expecting great dancing, great vocals, great visuals from everything because Hive's usually pretty good about that. And I'm interested to see like if they're gonna go on variety shows or anything like that because I love variety shows. That's what got gets me into groups originally. And there was some talks earlier on as well that in in her photos, Sakura looks a lot different and they think that she had plastic surgery. So I'm not really going to comment on that because I'm not really sure. But overall, I'm looking at some pictures on the wiki and they're all super pretty and I'm really excited to see how they do. And I heard good things about the debut. I heard it's definitely a grower out of everything, but we, we'll just see for ourselves. So without further ado, let's just get started with Lee Seraphim.
really well timed. I really like this. It really kind of reminds me of like Super Junior's like black suit, I think. Something like that. Just like a Super Junior song. Their main chorus reminds me of like the bubble bum chorus part. I like the vocals though. Kinda has like a scab vibe like the like the beat of the song as well. Great vocals right there from Chaelin. What you're looking at is kind of like ASMR style, which I don't, not, I don't really care for, but the vocal overall of it is really nice. And of course, their outfits and their visuals are superb. Can't go wrong with that. Kind of a strange choreography style right there. What, what are they going to do when they have to go on a stage? So they're just going to have to roll around the floor like that? That's what I'm worried about. And they can't do those outfit changes like they are now. So that's gonna be awkward. Alright, and that was Leaf Seraphim's Fearless. So for me, just a simple and well done music video. The visuals were great, the dancing was good, the mm -mm was probably my favorite part. The other part kind of reminded me of a Super Junior song. I can't remember which one because I've they're kind of all mixed in my head, but I think it was Black Suit. Not really sure though. And then there's also the the floor dancing. I'm just more worried about them doing that on a music show. But overall, their dancing was super powerful. Their vocals were really good. I really enjoyed all of it. So for me, I think I'm just gonna put it right in the middle at a 8.5. I don't think it's honestly as good. I think I'm gonna put it right at an 8.2. I don't think it's as good as the the glassy or dreamcatcher songs that I just listened to, but I definitely think it's better than Nizui, which is why I thought an 8.4 would be a good rating for that. Not the best, not the worst. Kind of right in the middle of a road at a B. Because I, I enjoyed it a lot. There were some weird parts that I didn't really care for. There were some really good parts that I really, really loved, which is why I'm kind of giving it that score. Because I'm not really sure, but it's definitely a good debut. It's just not my favorite debut, you know, but definitely really high. So I, I can't really particulate how it really didn't do it for me. But I'm, I think it's more like um, the floor dancing was kind of strange. The kind of Super Junior chorus was just kind of weird. The overall like ASMR style of the one on the far right's vocals didn't really do it for me because I don't really like ASMR. But it really reminded me like it was like kind of slobbery i guess like very like spitty just personally just on on the ears but the dancing was really good i like the vocals of everybody and then like so i'm really excited to get to know the rest of the members but for now soccer and chaewon they were great as always and then the rest of them as well like the dancing and everything like that the the floor dancing seemed kind of very unnecessary to me i'm kind of it's kind of strange on why they chose to do that, but it's whatever. And so just overall, I'm really excited to, to watch their next music video because I had fun with this one. I'm excited to see how their quality goes up. But for me personally, I might have overhyped myself a bit, but it wasn't my favorite. But it certainly wasn't bad by any means. So great music video. Love the visuals, dancing, vocals, and overall set of this song kind of plain but not too bad that's why 8.4 i think is a good score and i think that's going to do it for me for the first day of my comeback and after this i will be reacting to killer shopping list which will be on patreon so you'll see the trailer for that soon and then also the prickle debut so look out for that tomorrow 
And I think that's going to do it for me. So thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in some more videos. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support me, then you can go to my Patreon link down below for premium content that I will be reacting to shortly. For example, Running Man Funny Moments, Knowing Brothers, Huge and Benny's Variety Show, Yuri's Room, Idol Room, Weekly Idol, just any kind of funny compilations for idols and their variety shows. Basically edit and focus on my Patreon to build it up and make it look good so people actually want to use it. Comment down a video below of a variety show they think I would enjoy. My drama list as well is linked onto the channel so you can see what shows I watch. Thank you everyone for watching and let me know down below what group or variety shows that I should react to next and put on the Patreon or just overall on the YouTube channel. So I will see you next time and thank you for supporting the channel.